Have you ever been sent a 3D file from a collaborator and you have no idea what it is, how to open it, or if it is even the right version, and all you can do is guess, or worse, download like four different programs trying to open it? This kind of thing happens all the time, especially when you are working across teams, departments, or time zones. And that's what Blueberry AI is actually built for. It is basically a digital asset management system made for people working with 3D files, images, and videos. Think game dev, product designers, architects, animation teams, or anyone with a folder full of random file names and no clue what's inside. You can use Blueberry AI in the cloud or self-host it if your team needs more control. But the main idea is this. It helps to organize, preview, search, share, and comment on digital assets without the usual chaos. By the way, this video is sponsored by Blueberry AI. So Blueberry AI has this preview engine called Iwi. It runs right in the browser. No installs and no plugins either. You just drag a 3D file like OBJ, FBX, GLTF, Blend, and even MA for Maya, and it can load it instantly. You can rotate the model, toggle wireframes, view UVs, check materials, and even if the model is animated, and you can play it right there. There's also screen space reflections and double-sided mesh support built in. You can also compare different versions of the same file, side by side. So let's say someone updated the rig or cleaned up the apology. You can flip between the old and new versions to see exactly what changed. And this part is actually super helpful. You can send someone a shareable link that opens the model directly in their browser. You don't even need to use a 3D software, such as Blender, Max, Maya, or anything else installed. Now, let's say you are looking for something from a project a few months ago, and you can't remember what it was called, and the file names don't give you much to work with. Blueberry Search is built for that. It is semantic, meaning it doesn't rely on exact names. It looks at the content, and it will pull up relevant stuff, even if the files aren't just named export1.lend. You can also reverse search with an image, just drop in a screenshot or concept sketch, and it will show you anything that visually matches from your asset library. It is like Google Image Search, but for your own files. And when you upload files, Blueberry automatically tags them using AI. Things like architecture, organic, hard surface, metal, stylized, etc. So even if the folder is a mess, Blueberry sorts it out for you. Later, you can filter by these tags to narrow things down. Uploading is pretty simple. You can upload a single file or an entire folder, then name it, choose a parent folder, and decide whether it is private or shared. You can give access to specific collaborators or the whole studio. Once uploaded, Blueberry shows all the info that you would expect, like file formats, path, tags, upload history, and so on. And when you need to update a file, like maybe someone tweaks the sculpt or fixes the UVs, you just click Update Version, upload the new one, and it gets linked to the original. You can view both versions side by side, or flip between them to compare, which is a great thing, I would say. Let's say you are reviewing a model and notice an issue. Instead of sending a long email or a Slack thread trying to explain the fix, you can just click on the model and leave a comment directly on the spot that you are talking about. You can also mention a collaborator, so they get notified. It is more or less like using Figma or Frame.io, but for 3D. This also works with image files and videos, same tools, same workflow, and it is great for hybrid pipelines. Once you are working with more people, or just juggling a lot of files, it helps to have everything stored in one place. Blueberry gives you a shared library, where the whole team can access the models, textures, renders, or whatever else is part of the project. Not only that, even for big businesses with already a huge library of files, Blueberry can help sort, organize, and filter all the old files, which can save a lot of time and money. Everyone gets access to the same library, with version history, comments, and previews in one spot. So if someone updates a model, or uploads a new render or project, you will be aware of that and what changed and where it should go. It also cuts down on the usual mess, 
and back and forth that occurs with different time zones or departments. Game studios, design teams, animation houses, architecture firms, VFX freelancers, marketing agencies, and so on. If your folder structure is turning into a mess, I think Blueberry can help you figure that out. Now, let's say you're working with a character model and you want to see how it looks like textured. In Blueberry, you can go to the Materials tab, click the base color, and either upload a texture or pick one from your existing asset library. It is not a full-on shading system, but it is enough to check if everything is unwrapped correctly and the textures are working. You can also preview different material channels, like normal maps, roughness, AO, ambient occlusion, etc. And even split the view horizontally or vertically to compare multiple channels at once. There is also a full screen mode and a built-in screenshot tool if you want to grab reference images or send previews to someone. Blueberry works across more than just 3D formats. You can upload images, videos, CAD files, fonts, in addition to documents. So it is not limited to Blender or Maya pipelines either. There are plugins available for Photoshop, Blender, Maya, Jira, Slack, and a few other apps. So you can send assets directly from Blueberry AI to your software and back. This saves time if you're working across different tools with external contractors who might not have the same setup as your main team. And if you're working with unreleased content, confidential designs, or studio IP, security is probably a concern. So Blueberry lets you self-host the whole thing and run the AI locally, so nothing is leaving your infrastructure. There's also blockchain-backed audit logging. Basically, you get a full history of who accessed what and when, also what they did with it. So if something gets leaked or changed, you've got the paper trail. Permissions are super customizable. You can let someone preview the file, but not download it, or give access to an entire team while hiding specific folders. It is great for working with clients or vendors without exposing more than you need to. And yeah, this all saves money too. If you've got people who just need to view assets and leave feedback, they don't need a full 3D license. Blueberry fills the middle ground. Blueberry's single user plan is now free for good. It is obviously not the full package, but if you're working alone or just want to see how it feels like in your workflow, it should be enough to get started since it gives you access to the basic and essential features of Blueberry AI, except the 3D preview. If you end up needing more, like extra storage, hosting setups, or team features, the team plan starts at $9.99 per month. And for bigger studios, there is an enterprise option too. There is actually a free trial for the paid plans as well. So if you want to poke around and see what else it offers, you can do that without jumping right away. So if you're interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.